For the first one, we have a separable differential equation because we can just put the y minus 1 squared to the other side and then multiply the dx to here. So we are going to get 1 over y minus 1 square in the y world and this is equal to 1 over 1 minus cosine square x in the x world. As we can see, we have all the y's on one side and all the x's on one side. And when we have this, we can just go ahead and integrate both sides. And to integrate this, we can just do u sub, let u equal to y minus 1, and differentiate both sides, we get du is equal to dy. So we just have to integrate 1 over u squared, which is the same as u to the negative 2, in the u world. And we can use the reverse power rule for this, add 1 to the power, and divide it by the new power, so we get negative 1 u to the negative 1 power is the same as 1 over u, and we know u is equal to y minus 1. So that's the left-hand side. You don't have to put on a plus c because technically we have integrals on both sides. We have the constants on both sides, but we can move the constant just to the right-hand side. Okay, here, how do we integrate this? The truth is 1 minus cosine square x is just nicely equal to sine square x on the bottom. And what's 1 over sine square x? Cosecant square x. So we just have to think about the derivative of what function will give us cosecant square x. Is the answer just cotangent x? Well, no, because the derivative of this is going to give us negative. Therefore, we have to have a negative right here. So on the left-hand side, we get negative cotangent x. And now let's go ahead and put down plus c. And because I want to isolate the y for you guys, so we can see the general solution, let's keep track of the constant. So let's call that to be c1. Now to continue, I will just multiply both sides by negative 1. So we have positive 1 over y minus 1 equals positive cotangent x. c1 is a constant. Negative c1 is also a constant. Let's call that c2. Yay. And now let's flip both sides. So we get y minus 1, but let's put a minus 1 to the other side. So we get y equals 1 plus the reciprocal of the entire right-hand side. So we get 1 over cotangent x plus c. This is it, because we got the y by itself, so I don't need to write down the index anymore. That's the general solution. Now, to use this initial condition, we can be able to solve for c. We know y of pi over 4 is equal to 2. This means put pi over 4 into this x, so we get 1 plus 1 over cotangent pi over 4 plus c. Subtract 1 both sides, and then cotangent pi over 4 is 1 plus c. And the only way for this to be 1 is when c is equal to 0. So c is equal to 0. Then there we have it. We don't have this, so we have the answer is y equals 1 plus 1 over cotangent x. And of course, that's the same as tangent x. And we are done.